The updated interior does benefit from several new features. Push button start, forward collision warning, and lane departure alert are now part of the options list, while a 7.0-inch touchscreen with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto comes standard on even the base LS. The dashboard's materials are improved somewhat, although certain pieces such as the shifter and the climate control still look and feel cheap. A more egregious offense in our tested $27,290 tracks premier than in lower priced models like the pictured Trax LT. Getting out of its own way. Chevrolet didn't update what's under the hood, an area where the tracks needed work. A turbocharged 1.4-liter inline-4 providing a paltry 138 horsepower is the only engine choice. A mostly well-behaved six-speed automatic and a competitive 148 pounds to foot of torque help the little engine deliver a decent amount of peppiness around town, at least in the lighter front-wheel drive tracks we tested. When it's time to merge onto the highway or execute a pass, though, the little 1.4 struggles against the Trax's 3,151-pound curb weight, as confirmed by the sluggish 9.3-second saunter to 60 miles per hour 145-pound heavier all-wheel drive Trax we tested in 2015 was slower still, at 9.4 seconds. The small displacement engine is presumably intended to imbue the tracks with small car-like fuel economy, but it falls short in that regard as well. We measure just 30 miles per gallon in our 75 mile per hour highway fuel economy test, three short of the EPA's highway rating. The significantly more powerful Kia Soul Turbo, which gets to 60 miles per hour nearly three seconds quicker than the tracks, also hit 30 miles per gallon in our testing. Thank <laughs> you.